Hello my artsy friends, Jessica Sanders here. So happy to be on the Ranger blog today with a special art journal challenge tutorial just for you. Now I know that we love all of our colors, but today let's just choose two. I'm using Color Confidence chart from Dina Wakely to choose lapis and lemon, and I'm adding white and night. Night will be like a black, but you know, not black. And I'm using my Dina Wakely Media Journal. Before getting started, I want to cover it with clear gesso just to prevent it from being so porous and give my paints a nice base. So get out your gel plate and your Dina Wakely stamps. I'm using Abstract Bloom Stamp, but use the stamps that you like. Uh, mainly we're going for a sort of color and texture here, and uh, we're going to just play with our gel plate a little bit. So I added my main two colors, lapis and lemon, to the plate, and I'm brayering it on, and I want to just sort of create a gradient with that. I also added white so it would lighten and brighten it up a little bit. And I am going to get some color mixing, which is going to give me a third color to work with on my journal page, which is a nice sort of natural green, and it's really pretty. Now I want to use my stamp with acrylic paint, but the paint is a little bit thick. So what I did was I just added a little bit of water, used the brayer to get that moving. Then I was able to apply it to my stamp and apply my stamp to my gel plate. And now I'm stamping with my gel plate onto my journal page. I'm just creating a nice soft background, but I do want a little bit more color. So I'm just going to repeat that same process of stamping once again. So on top of that ombre gradient type background, I want some little pops of color. So I did a less sprayering this time on the gel plate. Now the shape of the gel plate created sort of a border around the edge. It's sort of like a nice frame and I'm kind of liking that. Now that I'm pretty happy with that background, I'm going to work on the focal point and I'm going to be using some tags on my gel plate and using the same colors all over again. Remember, this is a two color challenge, but already we have such a nice range of blues and greens and yellows. I'm just really thinking it looks beautiful. As you know, repetition is important for creating cohesive page, cohesive art. So I'm just sort of repeating the same process for the tags of brayering on and creating a gradient of color with the yellow and the blue. And I'm also going to use the stamp again to add that texture and that interest. I don't want it to be exactly the same as my background. So I'm using the stamp in the blue area a lot more for the tags than I did on the background of the journal page. If you remember on the background of the journal page, we put them mostly on the top and the bottom diagonal corners, but this time we're putting them mostly in the bottom. And I'm using a random clean off sheet to take off the excess and press it down. And I really like the texture I'm getting. However, there's not really as much definition with the stamp as I kind of want. So I'm going to stamp directly onto the tags to add a more defined version. So I have these sort of fuzzy out of focus flowers, but then I have the more defined flowers, even so they're still quite abstract because if you notice, I'm not using an acrylic block or anything. So I'm not going to get like even pressure as I'm stamping. Now, I did not originally plan on using this scrap piece of paper, but I really liked that design and the sort of that brightness and counterpoint with the white to contrast our canvas background. And so I decided to incorporate that into this page. And if you give a mouse a cookie, <laughs> since I was incorporating that white of that paper, I decided to incorporate more white into the page. So I stamped some of the abstract blooms, a bigger size flower onto my tags and onto the background. Next, I'm going to use Dina Wakely's Fierce Stamp, and I'm just using the text, You Got This, and I'm going to stamp it on Dina's plain collage paper with acrylic. And I'm using a mix of night and lapis to create a really dark, it's going to be the background and the letters will stand out. See? Nice. I stamped several while I was doing it because, hey, why not? Now I have them for the future. I used some water to go around the edge so that it make it easy to get a nice rough edge on the tissue paper and then I just tore it out. 
You probably want to let your paint actually dry before you do this, although I didn't and that's why it's all over my fingers. So here's a little torn off area of that scrap piece of paper that I had that has the nice bright yellow on it. And I thought it would show through nicely with those letters with the collage tissue and it did. I was really happy with these results. Now it's time to add our focal point and I used the ultra thick gel to do that because I wanted my page to have dimension. And I just used, rather than a thin layer, I used it pretty thickly. But I didn't do the whole backs. I wanted those edges to stand up and stand out a little bit. And these are just little strings that I've turn, torn off the edge of the journal. I like the strings on the edge, but I also love just taking them and using them inside the journal. It's so fun. So this created a really punchy sort of focal point. You can't actually see a whole lot of the background now and that's fine because what you want to do is focus on the focal point. But it has a nice frame, it looks really nice and I'm really happy with it. The last thing I wanna do is bring that white in a little bit more with some splatters. And so I just splatter that on with the Distress Splatter tool. And that's it. We are finished with this page. Just be sure and give it a little extra time to dry because of that ultra thick gel. And remember, you got this. You've got this. So thank you so much for joining me today on the Ranger blog. I really love being here and I hope you enjoyed trying this journal page. I can't wait to see what you do.